Well, welcome back, everybody. Um, TCAP, pretty amazing. Uh, yesterday on that red to green move, um, you know, it's just these these squeezes. Um, they just repeat and they repeat and they repeat. And especially when you have something that holds up over the weekend like that. I mean, I mean, at the end of the day, even if you didn't trade TCAT, I mean, there was a lot, a lot of other stuff going on yesterday. But uh, the lesson, the thing to take away is just, and I don't know, I you know, I, I feel like I kind of repeat this so many times, but you know, it's just hot sector plays, float rotation, you know, especially. I mean, you'll hear every Friday and every Monday, you'll hear me say this. I'm like, what's our two favorite times of the week? Friday afternoon and Monday morning. And why is it, you know, why do we love those two two periods uh, of the week? I mean, again, the, these these stocks that hold up all week into Friday tend to squeeze. If they don't, which TCAT just kind of grow, ground, growed. Did I just try and use growed as the past tense for grind? All I did was gr gr ground sideways all day on Friday. But then you come in Monday morning, a little bit of a gap down, goes green, and then, you know, spike six bucks a share. And, and keep in mind, I'm not saying by no means am I saying you should have held from 30 to, to 60. Okay, I'm not saying that. But my point is when it went red to green at 1030, you had a consistently predictable spike there, you know, and maybe you took a buck a share. Maybe you took two, maybe you took three or four, maybe you took five. Maybe you're a psychopath and you held all the way to 60. I don't know. But my point that I'm fixating on is when you check all those boxes for a hot sector, float rotating, heavily shorted stock that's held up all week, those red to green moves yesterday morning, and you should have been ready for that, you know. And it was on the weekend watch list. I mean, I mean, if if you're, I, I I know, and I see the comments, I see the comments that I ignore, but um, you know, oh, it's revisionist history, Tim. You know, oh, you're you're just picking winners. You know, you talk about four stocks yesterday, and then you bring up the you know one of them that worked. No, I mean, this is on the weekend watch list. Okay. I recorded the video. I mean, listen, watch your weekend watch list. I recorded that video Friday afternoon, okay? <laughs> I mean, so you can you can attempt to troll me with the revisionist history and the pick and winners, but it ain't gonna work. You know? Watch 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 the video from Friday afternoon, okay? So anyway, let's get to work. PSTV. Da -da -da, low float. Decent volume. Some crappy biotech. We're in Austin. Uh... <laughs> uh... <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Nope, 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 nope. There it is. Oh, God. I was almost... I was almost so happy. Google Maps is screwed. <laughs> oh, it's across the street. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I was about to like, I, I, <laughs> listen, we have seen sketchy publicly traded companies in little houses. Oh, Google Maps, why'd you do that to me? <laughs> anyway, sketchy low flow. <laughs> Okay, volume, not a hot sector. Uh, it's, it is it is technically a dip and rip, but I don't have much faith in it. PSTV news, uh, recent runner, but a lot of one and dones. Dang it, Google Maps. Why did you have to break my heart like that? A uh, lot of one and dones, not hot sector. And ultimately, no crazy volume. I mean, I go back to yesterday. What was yesterday's failed dip and rip? Um, yesterday's failed dip and rip was uh, SPRT. Okay. SPRT did break nine and did spike to 950. But 
but ultimately kind of faded all day. It's back in play today, by the way. But remember SPRT? I mean, at this point yesterday morning, this thing had traded like 30 million shares. Okay? So the reason I say I don't have much faith in PSTV is the lack of volume. Which, by the way, SPRT, watch this over 850. Nice hold. Um, SPRT looking like a day tour. Um, for sure, a good risk to reward over 850. Um, anything about BNTC? Another crap biotech. Morgan Stanley? Morgan Stanley's got a stake in some crappy little $3 biotech? Um, I mean, I guess that's good news. I mean, it's always encouraging to see somebody like my Morgan Stanley in some crappy $3 biotech. But a lot of resistance on this chart. I would say afternoon only on BNTC. News encouraging, but charts a mess. What's the what's our flow? Hundred a high flow. So so when I see a choppy chart and high float, I'm gonna be really consistent. I'm gonna tell you afternoon only. Hoth. Yep. Jeez. Okay. See there. Okay. 12 million shares traded in freaking 10 minutes. Okay. There we go. And basically it's a breakout over 320. So if this, if this hods, it's a multi-month breakout. There we go. There we go. Way, I like hop way more than PSTV. So way more than PSTV. 100%. So you got a, what do you got? You got a coronavirus PR at 8 a.m. You got great volume. Blah, 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 blah. I don't really care. It's a coronavirus PR and it's traded 12 million shares in 10 minutes. In, in, yeah. And it's a multi month breakout. So I rank Hoth way higher than than PSTV or BNTC. Uh, YVR, so YVR is the f NFT play. Yes, well done, The Mole. The Mole, yes, 100% dip and rip. And here's my thing to all of you guys. A lot of you asking about biotechs, I get it. But for me and TCAT, uh, and OCG, my main dip in rips. So I think, and, and hey, we're here to learn. We're here to collaborate. I love each and every one of y'all. But a lot of you asking about biotechs, man. I mean, if if you're a, if you're a low priced junk stock trader, um, the market's telling you. I mean, look at TCAT. I mean, T TCAT. Breaking 60 right now, okay? The market's telling you where to focus. Not me, okay? Don't don't listen to me on what to focus. The market is telling you. You have TCAT that a, was a $1.50 stock five days ago, and it's, and it's getting ready to break out. YVR, OCG. There's a whole list of them. Okay, I got the whole list in the steady trade team. So I'm going to finish on that. I am a little tight on time. I didn't get my six poached eggs this morning, so I'm freaking starving. Um, so anyway, thank you, everyone. Have a good day. Um, NFT plays, man, is, is my thoughts. Not bashing your biotechs, but if again, if you're looking at morning momentum day trades, in my opinion, the market is telling you it's it's the junk NFT stuff. So, all right, check out the Steady Trade team. New podcast drops later today. Um, 
blah, 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 blah. Make sure you're on the weekend watch list. I mean, again, I, I, I mean, I laid out TCAT this weekend. So, uh, and it's free. So, all right. Have a great day and we will, uh, we'll see you next time.